and welcome courtside. Roz Gold on Wood and Marie Anderson, Ashley Adamson, and one of the stars of the game, Dijanae Carrington. Carrington, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate you. Congratulations on the big win. There's a lot to talk about in this game, but can I just first ask you about your halftime buzzer beater? <laughs> I hit one last year, so I had to hit one this year. You had to hit one this year. Very I had to match nice. match it, right? Well, let's take a quick look at it. Can you break it down for me, D? I mean, I caught the ball. I looked at the clock, saw about three seconds. I saw someone in my way, but I said, hey, either I'm getting the offensive foul or this is going in. So. Right. What I love is the way you stood up straight, like, like, like I knew I was making that. <laughs> I, I, I was pretty. I hadn't seen the ball go through the net in a, in a while. So that was nice for me. <laughs> the hurdle over Amber yeah. Malgoza, their best And I didn't want to step on her. <laughs> exactly. And so let's talk about the game, though. There, there clearly was a game plan to hold Missy Peterson quiet. Look at your eyes. <laughs> Those lashes flash up. <laughs> I love it. You guys executed your game plan so well. What was the key to holding Missy Peterson quiet? Yeah, I mean, she's a great player, but we knew that what she wanted was open shots, open threes, and, and we just took those away. Uh, we ran her off the line. We didn't let her get anything easy. I think she got probably five to ten shots up, but we had to make everything difficult. And I think by us running on the offensive end, we tired them out. You know, it's been a, a, it's nice to see how confidently you're out there playing on the court. Can you talk about just the journey over the course of your career to finding your swag and having what I would think is a breakout season this year? Yeah, I mean, my teammates have so much confidence in me and like, obviously I missed a lot of shots today, but there was never a moment where my teammates told me stop taking those shots or, or do this or that. They always encouraged me because we all know what each other's capable of. We see it every single day. And so I think this year and especially um, going into this postseason, we have to make sure we take full advantage of all of our capabilities. 14 points, 10 rebounds, your seventh double-double of the season. So you made some shots as well, uh, it's particularly that halftime one that we just saw a little bit ago. You get the Oregon Ducks tomorrow night. Yeah. And I know that you're excited to get another yeah. shot at them, given what happened last month in Maples. Your early thoughts on playing Oregon? We're excited. We're excited. Um, that was obviously a really, really big loss for us. Um, but, I mean, I think we've grown so much from that game and throughout the whole season. And I'm... I'm really excited for us to show what we're capable of now and, and how much improvement that we've made. You said you've grown and improved. Where? Um, I think we've taken we've learned to take better shots. Um, we're, we're taking smarter shots. Um, we're getting the ball inside more. We're, I think we're just being more under control. I think that game, we kind of got flustered on offense and defense. Um, and we, we weren't guarding the pick and rolls. We weren't disciplined. And so I think we've been playing a lot more discipline, a lot more within ourselves, and just doing what we know how we can do. I'm going to sneak one more in just because I'm a Stanford alum. And I know it is it obviously is never cool to lose at home. Yeah. But to lose by 40 yeah. to Oregon at home and a chance to play them right now for a championship. Yep. What emotions does that make you feel? Is it, is it anger? Is it embarrassment? Is it something else? What, what motivation? What are you feeling? Obviously, Oregon's one of the best teams in the country, but I believe that we are as well. And I think that after that game, we were, we were embarrassed. I mean, we, we got blown out. I mean, it wasn't even close from the second quarter one. And so we know that we cannot come out and play like that if we want to have any type of chance. And, and Credit to them, they're a great team, but I think and I know that we are way better than we showed and, and we just have to show that tomorrow. We, we're trying to get some revenge. Absolutely. Revenge yeah. and redemption will be the name of the game for the San yeah. Cardinal. Dijanae, thank you so much for stopping by the set. Uh, I'm sure Tara Vanderveer's got some messages for you guys, so we'll let you go to the locker room now, but good luck tomorrow night against those Ducks. Thank you.